We're now going to have a look at the cloud chamber. The first job is to put the alcohol around the edge. Why use alcohol? Alcohol is a dipole molecule, meaning that it will be attracted towards the ionised air particle. When I find the, the, the source for the cloud chamber, you'll see it's mounted in a cork in a metal tin. I'm going to pick the source up by the cork and I'm not going to touch the end which is covered with the luminous paint which contains radium. I carefully thread it through and the cork also seals the chamber and stops the alcohol vapour from coming out. So now it's time to put the dry ice into the bottom of the chamber. I'm not going to pack it to the top, I'm just going to put enough in to cover the bottom of the chamber and then put the sponge in to hold it in place and attach the bottom and turn it to lock it in place. Once you've done that, you can turn the chamber back over. We can use the small wedges to ensure that it's flat on the table. And we're now ready to illuminate the chamber you can then view from the top of the chamber to see the tracks produced by the ionising radiation.